quite a few things I say on a daily basis. And trust me when I say to you that he works. I am blooming. I am glowing. I am shining. <laughs> Only fine boy, hey. only fine boy. Where are they charts for my phone? You ever leave me now? I'm in the studio. Hey, I'm the one for my phone. Guys, it's a look season. Like, goodness me, everywhere I turn to look, 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 to talk about it, if not now. Oh my God. Cool, eh, right? He's so lucky. Look up. Look at how they look at each other. How they dance together, guys. I see all the comments on the internet. You know, people are going to talk anyway, so that one is not with nothing. But there are a couple of lessons I want us to learn from these things. The first one is, keep it private until you're ready. Because look up the eight comments that came on the first time this guy posted the wife. Without the mushy, mushy, lovely videos and the rest. Look at, she's not even that beautiful. Before they knew who this girl was, before every, before they found out about her status, before they knew she was an hotel dollar, before they knew she she came from old money, you get stuff like, she's not that fine. Okay, we're going to end up with Bimbo. We thought this, how can you live in a hole at this one and go for this? How can you for a crush on Sharon for the longest and then end up with this? A whole lot of talk, talk, and keep up warriors. Oh my guys, you all saw it. When the video started coming out and then the name, just as God has said. Oh my God, I love love. He is, he is like a menace. I love love. It's like a virus for me and I enjoy this virus. I love love. Literally, speak life to yourself. Speak these things. The second thing would be the fact that he sort of went out of his way. If you notice Kule's pattern, see, Kule dated Adesua. And see, if you know Kule Remy, if you've followed him long enough, you would know that he's a romantic. He's not just with Tiwi. I just feel like a romantic jam, a romantic, jammed another romantic um, is what it is with this Kule and Tiwi thing. And it's so beautiful to see. So with, with Adesua, he was that same romantic guy. But fortunately for life, it just didn't work for them. Because of course, there's Tiwi waiting for him and there's Banke for Susu. And if you guys recollect well, Kule on the internet for a long time, I'm a crushed on Sharon Oja. Sharon, what I'm trying to say in essence is, look at um, Susu and look at Sharon. They're a bit, I mean, they're a couple of similar things. They're both fair. They're both slim girls. I mean, I saw people writing things about, oh, Bum Bum is not winning this time. Big Breast is not winning. Kule has never been a Bum Bum guy. He has never been a big, curvy girl guy. No. The fact that you see in the movies that he does all that, he has never been. If you follow him well enough, you know what I am talking about. So, looking at those two, they're fair, they're slim, and they're like that. It's taste, it's spec. Now, look at me. Same thing, but the only difference is the color. See, this is where I'm going. I know us as women, as girls, as ladies, single ladies particularly, you go for that program, you go to church, you go to Bible study, and they say to you, Oh, visualize your husband, make a list of what you want, and then you start to write tall, thin, dark, and some smelling nice, smelling good, my darling. Sometimes you're going to meet someone and it's not going to smell all that nice like you want, but it's not smelling. The smell nice that we talk about is, you know, spray nice perfumes and all of that. Sometimes you'll meet someone and he's not going to be that tall as you want. He completes you, he compliments you. Well, because you have a list that somebody says, keep checking it. If he's not checking it, he's out of it. My dear. She will fetch at the age and equal to marriage. See, let me tell you one thing. If Kule can go for a dark girl and be that happy, you can change your orientation. Is your orientation in college? Oh. Aesthetic, me. Aesthetic. Change some things. You know, revisit it. Amend. Correct. Check it. See, if you have 16 boxes and a guy has checked 10, if the rest of the six is not going to affect you mentally, physically, my dear, if there are material things, say, oh, you like him smelling nice, you like him with one type of haircut, you like him out with beards, you can talk him to do it. See, eh, I'll give you one secret. Men are babies. When they find what they like, they calm down. Oh, wait, you understand. Bro, women 
can be art girl, art girl, art girl. But when you finally find the one that folds and lies, and oh my God, she would listen to you. So please, we're not going to get the perfect man. We're not going to get the perfect woman. We're going to find an imperfect one that would compliment us. I mean, there's nobody who is perfect anyway. All right, all right, all right. I am not, I'm not going to go deeper than that. So the final one that I want us to, to talk about is the fact that, look at these guys. Look at men. They are not just going for looks. They are not just going for body. They are going for the future. They are looking into women. They can build an empire together. They are looking into getting a woman. And same for women as well. I mean, don't let me sound like what feminists would not like right now. Same thing for women. I, I mean, it has always been that women, you know, want to see what you have. We, we, we go for can you, can you look after me? Can you take care of me? Are you fit enough? But men, I mean, from inception, I've, I've always, you know, they have always been moved by what they see. But what I see in these recent times is that men don't just go for that. Yes, of course, they need to find you attractive. But then what do you have up here? Do you hold the conversation? Can you take care of things in his absence? You don't have to ring him all the time. I'm not talking about dragging generator, please. And I'm not talking about you doing the plumbing duties yourself. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you doing it, but there are some things that are way more attractive than that. You see, Tiwi and Kunle, Moses Blizzard, Mary, you're not going to hear this guy speak to their wife and say, don't take my son to that place. I've told you, don't do this, don't do that. No, look at their status. Look at what they have, look at what they hold, look at what they control, look at what they are. The man would respect them. And I promise you, a man who respects a woman would end double. That's what a woman does. Treat a woman one time, second time, and she will do more for you. So guys, 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 it's not only women that can be looking for a rich guy. Even you, you can put your eyes down and look for a complete package. Sense, brain, beauty, makashuku. It doesn't have to be so, so much. But go for someone with perfect. A lady who knows what they're doing. I'm not saying don't go for a lady who, who shops because some people don't even understand what it means to say, Somebody knows what they're doing. Somebody who knows what they're doing is someone who is organized, someone who has plans for their life, someone who already has like a visual description of what they want to do in the next 10, 15, 20 years, how they want to, how they want to, you know, what they want to do with you. It's someone who already has plans to live a glorious and beautiful life. Not someone who literally, when you ask them, what's up? What plans do you have tonight? Whatever you say we should do. You cannot go to, it's not going to be like that all the time. So men, are doing those things. Women, don't just go for riches. Before you can end up with a yahoo boy that will give you a picture, or you can end up with a gay man. <laughs> Speaking of that, the video I posted last night about the news flying out about somebody came for me. It would be nice to expose the person, Shabo. I would have just said, let me attach the screenshot. He came for me literally. But trust me to give him now. Politely, I told him, Uncle, with your full chest, eh, accept that you are gay. Why are you in my DM? I am not the government. I didn't make the law. I support LGBTQ here because when you're in Rome, you have to behave like a Roman. Do not come for me. Anyways, that was how I handled it. Guys, it's still the season of love. I'm in love as well. I love love. I love the colors in love. I love the morphings in love. I love the atmosphere. It smells good. It reeks of positive energy. And let's just stay positive for life. And don't forget that you can manifest the things you want. Wake up every morning if you're a single lady who is really looking to meet the good guy. And you are a great person yourself. Just keep saying it to yourself. Mine is coming. I have a life of ease. I will not struggle. My husband would find me. Money comes to me easily. These are a few things I say on a daily basis. And trust me when I say to you that he works. I am blooming. I am glowing. I am shining because I'm happy. So stay positive, stay courageous, stay happy. And I'll catch you guys soon. Ta-da!